Hello, I'm Murray Newlands. Welcome to another episode of The Future of Engagement. I'm here with Vincent, my friend from Gush Cloud. They've just moved here from Singapore. They've had a very successful agency over there. They're one of the most successful startups over there. And they've just come to San Francisco to work with the brands to help them engage. Vincent, how are you helping brands engage through social media? Sure, so what Gush Cloud is, it is an influencer activation platform. What that means is that they, brands can log on to gushcloud.com Yep. create a task for influencers, and that task could be to complete a survey, yep. could be to blog about the brand, could be to share about the brand on Facebook or Twitter, or even just to download an application. Whatever the marketing or PR need, our platform allows them to create them as tasks. Influencers then do these tasks, yep. and they get some kind of incentive for that. And are these tasks um, geolocated, these, these influencers? Sure. They're, they're US influencers, a US brand can tap into just those yes. people. So we have our own filtering system. Um, when the user yep. logs in, we track the IP address, they can fill in certain information about themselves, you know, the age, where they're from, and brands can use this data to you know, filter to the exact target audience. And so, I mean, for example, I have a marketing business. Sure. If I want marketing influencers, people who are marketing managers, for sure. example, to share that task, can yeah. I uh, choose people with a particular job title sure. or, or things like that? So um, we're limited to what a user reveals on, say, Facebook or even LinkedIn. Yeah. So if they indicate that, you know, I am a marketing person working at this place and it's on their Facebook profile, yeah. we can crawl that data. But if they don't have that, we won't know. So there okay. is a limitation there. Yeah. yeah. And roughly, what are brands paying every time someone shares something on Facebook? Sure. So that's What's the cost of a share? Okay. So that's an interesting question because there is no right answer to that. Okay. Brands who log onto the platform to post a task on our gushcloud.com, yep. they basically basically choose how much they want to reward per action. But, but what, what kind of range are you seeing? Um, well, in Singapore, it's anywhere between 25 cents to a dollar. Okay. So it's, it's a range. In the United States, it could be different. People yep. value their time differently. Maybe there's a minimum wage for shares. It could be like a dollar, you know, who knows? But basically, we get brands the power to choose exactly how much they want to spend. And what about the ethics of paying people to share things on Facebook or Twitter? Sure. So the funny thing about that question is that brands are doing it on a widespread basis. Now, I'll give you a simple example is that, you know, if I'm a brand today, I've got a new Facebook page. What do I do? Typically, I would run a contest yep. which rewards users with like some cash prize, some swag, or some kind of like lucky draw discounts or something like that to share about my Facebook page on, on, on Facebook and get users to come in and like the page and all these kinds of mechanics. What we're doing is slightly different from that in the sense that, you know, instead of rewarding through some kind of contest or some kind of mechanics, mm -hmm. we're looking directly in, at the user and the brand. If I'm a yeah. brand, I want you to like my page, basically I give you the reward for your time to come and like my page. Now, the, the, the converse is that the fan or the potential fan can choose exactly whether or not he wants to accept the task. Just yeah. because I'm gonna give you a reward doesn't mean that you're gonna, you're gonna do it. Yeah. So what we realize is that content still matters in, in this whole game. And is this just paid media or is this earned media as well? It's a combination of both. Let me give you an example for that. So we, we ran a task on Gushcloud and the objective was to get click-throughs to gushcloud.com yep. using the influencers, you know, like Facebook walls and Twitter timelines. And we paid for 100 and, uh, one, one, 1,500 clicks. So okay. that's what we paid at 25 cents per click for each influencer. But earned media, we actually got more than like 5,000 click throughs at the end of like, you know, two weeks. Right. So that's a huge difference there in the sense that the way to think about it is each influencer gets rewarded up to X number of clicks. Mm -hmm. Beyond that, that's earned media for us. Okay. And that depends on how well we phrase it, you know, how well we put the, you know, how well the content is structured. Yep. And people click on it and then once it gets 100 clicks, we only pay for five. 95 is earned. And what kinds of brands is this working well for? Actually, it's a whole range of brands, but I would say it's more focused towards consumer-facing brands. Yeah. These are your retail brands, like you know, your your your, your fashion brands, labels like H and M, Forever uh -huh. Twenty One, or it could be like fast food, where you know it's about like consumer like food products. Yeah, I wouldn't say this platform is as effective for business to base business marketing. Okay. So if I'm a business, I'm looking for the product manager of like X yeah. company, that won't work. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. So it's business to consumer companies. And you also have a part of your site which is for um, people to do rewards for karma points. Sure. What, what's that about? So it, it's basically a parallel system to cash. Uh -huh. And what we recognize is that, you know, sometimes brands, they don't feel comfortable with rewarding in cash. Okay. So they can reward in points. And to the user, these points can be redeemed for swag. 
and it could eventually be even if I'm brand A and I'm giving you like 50 karma points to do this task, on the redemption store on gushfile.com, you could actually use those karma points to redeem brand A stuff. Okay. So there is a, a mix of ways which brands can engage their consumers. Okay. And um, if people want to connect with you, how do they do that? So they, they just need to log on to gushlove.com, you know, sign in your Facebook or Twitter account, and they get, you know, they can start gushing straight away. Same thing if they want to post a task, gushcloud.com, log in with your Facebook or Twitter account. Excellent. Business, cool. thank you very much. Thank you, Murray. Thank you.